All right, earlier we told you what you can expect when you wake up in the morning when it comes to this year's Hangout Music Festival. But what about the impact on the city of Gulf Shores? Right. How will this year's lineup compare to years past? And in turn, how much money will that bring in? Fox 10 News reporter Michael Brandon joins us live again on Pleasure Island. Michael, a recent study showed the area does quite well during this festival. That's right, Bob and Lanise, it does quite well. Last year after Hangout Festival 2013, the Hangout Music Fest brought in Auburn University to do an economic study of exactly how much money is brought in. $31 million, can you believe it? Now when you break those numbers down, 14 million of that goes to the entertainment itself. 10 million of that goes to the accommodations and the rest towards food and beverages. And when locals are seeing those numbers down here, they're not complaining very much. In just five short months, these beaches will be packed with music lovers, beachgoers, and big spenders. The goals of the music festival, again, not only to bring great music to the beaches, but to have an impact on the region when the region is usually quiet. And the weekend we chose, the weekend before Memorial Day, is typically a quiet weekend. So now we're bringing 35,000 people to a beach that uh, virtually was uh, empty before. So. Um, that, that for us is, is a goal that has, has been reached and accomplished and, and we're, we're proud of it. Local businesses like Mikey's Seafood in Gulf Shores feel the impact too. It's just right across the street from the hangout. Those three days for us down here are a lot better than they would be if the hangout fest wasn't here. We love it. It's a great thing to see 30,000 people in this little town here. It's awesome to see this little town and be able to put something on like that. We really think it's a good thing for the economic growth around town here. It's a wonderful thing. Manager E.J. Spence is a Gulf Shores native. He's heard from locals about their thoughts on the hangout. Some locals love it, some locals don't. Understandable, you know, traffic is kind of hectic down here. It's not their little town. But, you know, we, we love it as far as, uh, as restaurant owners and restaurant people. We, we couldn't ask for anything much more than that. Well, I think over the years, the locals and, and, and the region has, has come to embrace the music festival because they realize that, you know, not only from a cultural standpoint do we bring some of the best music acts in the world to the beaches of Gulf Shores, but the, the economic impact for the region is, is important as well uh, and, and we, the, the response we get is that uh, the community is, is happy to have this event and, and looks forward to it each year like we do. As I mentioned before, tomorrow morning we will have all the information you need to know about this year's Hangout Music Festival on Fox 10. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., Cherish Lombard and Joe Emer will tell you who's coming to this year's Hangout Music Festival 2014. They'll have the lineup announcement on a special extended edition of Studio 10, and we'll also be streaming that show for you on Fox10TV.com. I don't know about you, but I'm going to be glued to my television and online to see exactly who's coming this year. I'm going to get my tickets. Reporting live in Gulf Shores, Michael Brandon, Fox 10 News.